Hey guys, Tampa Tech, in this video I'm going to show you how to keep your phone charged whether in a hurricane or any kind of emergency where there, there's no power basically. So I went ahead and I bought this device and it's a solar waterproof uh, charger to charge your phone or any USB device. And the reason why I got this is because I live in Florida and there's hurricanes. And when the power goes out, I want to make sure my phone's charged and I'm able to use it in case of emergency. So let's go ahead and check it out. And so this holds up to uh, 5,000 milliamp hours and it's solar charger. Uh, charges uh, full in about like six to seven hours, depending on the sunlight. So of course, more sunlight, you'll, it'll be charging faster. It's water, dust, and shock resistant. It has a rubber uh, frame bezel. And you can charge two USB devices. So yeah, if you have two phones, it'll charge both phones at the same time, but you won't get a full charge, of course, because you're charging two devices. You'll get probably half a charge. And it has a built-in flashlight. And it's waterproof, so if you're out in a hurricane, whatever you're doing, the flashlight's waterproof. And it comes with a clip for your belt or your um, pants. And it comes with um, iPhone 5 and 6 cable and a micro USB charging cable. Go ahead and take it out. And it was 20 bucks on Amazon. Micro USB. And this is for the iPhone 5 or 6. Right here. And the clip. Take this out. And it just, just goes on like that. Kind of cool. And when it charges, you'll see a green light. And the green light will start blinking when it gets enough sunlight. All right, as you can see, I got a green light right here, meaning that uh, it's charging right now. And I put my hand over the solar panel, and the green light goes away. So that's how you know it's charging. Then you can turn, hit that button on. Now it's on. Uh, I got, it look, uh, has three bars out of four. It's, no, actually it has two bars out of four. It's 50% charged. So you hold it down to turn it off. And tap it to turn it on. So let's go ahead and turn it off. Double tap. That actually turns on the light right there. And it's waterproof. And it's um, shock resistant. And it's shock resistant also as well. It's a really good device. All right, so basically the only thing I want to do is take off the rubber waterproof covers, exposing the USB port, and you could charge either one tablet or two phones at the same time. And just hit tap that button. The blue light means device, see, it's right there. It's charging. So when you see a blue light, that means it's on. So you can't charge two tablets. You can charge two phones though at the same time. So let's go ahead and do that. So make sure the device is always turned off. The best way to charge any device is with the power turned off on their phone. So this right there should be charging. And then let's go ahead, yep, there it goes. And take this rubber waterproof cover off, exposing the USB port right here. And you see a micro USB port. Well, that's to charge this device. So remember, micro USB is to charge this device. So the solar panel will charge the internal battery and also the micro USB plug when you plug it into your laptop. So let's go plug this in right here, the standard USB. And you see, they're charging, both charging at the same time. But let's say your phone is not waterproof. You get a Ziploc bag like this one. This is just a small snack Ziploc bag. And you can put your phone right in here just like that and my phone is about like five inches screen my screen is five inches just like that so I can use whatever I want really flashlight and all everything else works fine so I got it in an airtight bag um, Ziploc bag and if you know anything about Ziploc it keeps it airtight 
So, there it is. Try testing it out, Dad. So. It worked. And if you're interested in more information about this device, check out the video description below. And if you know this video might help someone or someone might be interested in this video, click on the share button below, share it to Facebook or G+, and subscribe to Tampa Tech for more tech reviews like this one.